Hi there, and welcome to Find Your Psychic Self. This is Melissa Leith, and I have a few minutes I wanted to share with you the idea of being psychic, or is this just your imagination? You know, there's a song, it's just your imagination. Well, uh, psychic and imagination has a big connection. Um, let's go back to when you were a child, and you may have had an imaginary friend. Um, whether this was a real spirit working with you, playing with you, uh, whether this was your higher self or an angel that was around you, or if it really was your imagination, it really doesn't matter. But the thing that did matter was that some adult said, oh, that's not real, that's just your imagination. Imagination is real. It is real. And it's the imagination and the, and the way that you use imagery that helps you as a spirit connect to your spirit guides and those that are loved ones in spirit and the angels that reside in the spirit world. All of those things connect with you through imagery or your imagination. It is the thing that holds your spirit in your body. I mean, there's there are fine lines and cords that connect us in many different ways in many different aspects, but the imagination is the thing that helps you to develop your psychic abilities. A long, long time ago, I remember uh, somebody telling me that uh, they would go outside every day. They lived in town and they put a uh, they would walk around their block uh, it would take maybe 10 15 minutes I don't know however long it was but every time they walked around their block they would look at every single thing that was on the sidewalk whether there was some stones a little crack or um, a missing piece on the sidewalk the trees that they passed the houses dogs that were barking children playing um, every every place they went around the block, they would visually and audibly listen to and see and witness and record. So they did that for a period of time, maybe a month or two at least. And then one day they decided, I'm going to see how well I remember. And they went out to the front of their house and they put the blindfold over their eyes. And they started walking and they tapped into the memory that they had in their mind of where they had walked the different crevices the different stones the barking the incline on the, on the path um, and they were able to get all the way around the block tapping into that memory and the only thing that allowed them to see the memory was the imagery because they could see in their mind's eye it was the nation that played that major part. So know that it is your imagination. And you can take that imagination and you can expand it. And you can develop it and it becomes psychic. And it becomes a connection between you and the spirit world as well. So it's something you can always use. Don't worry about if it's just your imagination. That's a good thing. Thanks for being with me today, and I will see you soon. Take care.